made a list of everything I want to make in 2024. And I know that I'm probably not going to get to all of them because there's about 41 things on that list and um, 24 of them are sweaters or cardigans or things with sleeves. Twenty-four sweaters. <laughs> that's that's a lot. Um, I know there there's four four that I know I'm absolutely going to make um, because I already have the yarn for them and patterns all ready to go. Um, and the others are wishes, <laughs> wishes that, that I want to make. Um, first one is something I want to do for Valentine's Day. I have this pretty dusty rose pinky color and I want to hold it together with this. <laughs> it's basically a bulky version of silk mohair um, and use them together. It'll, it's going to be very cute. It's going to be a basic raglan style chunky knit sweater just just plain i want to do that for valentine's day the only problem is i have five six seven things to make before i even get to consider casting that on i have five commissions i need to do and then two gifts and that's a lot <laughs> And I gave myself a month to do the five because that's all one order. And the other two, they're for my mom and she would understand if I was a little late on those. That's fine. So first up is this chunky knit sweater for Valentine's Day. Hopefully. Maybe. I believe I can do it. I can do it. Totally. And then next is finishing up the last, well, starting and finishing, the last sweater that was on my fall knitting plans video. I made three out of the four. The one that I need to do is Malva Rosa. Um, the example uses, well, one of them is a pale pink and I'm partial to greens and blues. So I've got my green. It's the evergreen color. Um, I will be using the recommended yarn. It's Expression Fiber Arts Dewy DK. And this is all ready to go. And I am going to do the optional broidery, broidery, embroidery across the yoke. I think that would be absolutely gorgeous. Um, these next two are more t-shirt blouse things. Um, they're both expression fiber arts. I kind of have a problem. Uh, first is Bordeaux Nights. This uses two different yarn bases. They're both fingering weight. One is the Oasis fingering and the other is the Alpaca Silk Lace. Um, so this is the color that I picked. Sorry, <laughs> phone call. Um, anyway, <laughs> Bordeaux Nights yarn. Um, this one is the Oasis fingering. This is for the body of the sweater t-shirt thing. Um, the color I picked is the lights are turned way down low. This is a Christmas base and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then for the sleeves and the top and I think the optional ruffle, the same, um, I picked this color writer's retreat in the alpaca silk lace because it's going to be so pretty and I'm so excited to wear this one. Um, this is going to be a spring top uh, because it's lace and fingering weight and so it's going to take forever because it's really skinny yarn. I believe in myself. <laughs> Maybe that will be, this can be like my, my spring break project. Of course, that's not until March, but that's okay. We can plan ahead. 
Then the last top is the Daisy top, also Expression Fiber Arts. Uses the Moon Gleam fingering. Um, and again, partial to greens. I picked this one. It's the lichen color, or you know, like moss. Um, so this one's really cute. <laughs> I, I love it so much. And I think maybe I'll have this one done for our anniversary in May. That's my goal. If I actually meet that goal, that would be a miracle. <laughs> because I have stuff to make so many. Um, yeah. But other things on my list of my, my knitting wish list for 2024 includes the Alaska hat with the Alaska sweater, because how can you not? Um, the sea glass sweater from Wool and Pine, because I'm going to have fingering weight left over. I can most likely from these projects. And I have a bunch of fingering weight up here and that's a great stash busting project. And yeah, maybe. We'll see if I actually get to that. Um, and then I want to make sweater number 18 because it's beautiful. And then also I want to work on the porcelain sweater. Now I'm not scared of stranded knitting. That, that doesn't scare me. It's the, I, what does scare me about this one? It doesn't, it doesn't scare me. It's just pretty and I want to make it. So that can be my throughout the year project and get it dumb and dumb done in time for winter, fall, winter, 2024. Cause you know, it's January now. So we'll, we'll have this done by November Thanksgiving. Okay. We can do that. Have the porcelain sweater done by Thanksgiving. Um, then over here, I've got one, two, three, four, five bags, tote bags with pattern and yarn all ready to go. So we're going to have 2024 be the great year of stash busting. All my projects, I well, not all of them. We're going to try, I'm going to set a goal for myself for 2024 to not buy yarn. Yeah, we know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> but try to not buy the yarn unless I absolutely need it to finish a project and not buy it just because it's pretty. That, that one's gonna be the issue because um, these colors, Expression Fiber Arts, the colors come and go. Some of them come back because they are fan favorites and others are just limited edition colors. So it's the limited edition ones that I will have trouble not buying, but I feel like I'm, I'm done pretty well since, especially like the last six months of 2023, I feel like I've done pretty well. Um, as long as I, you know, avoid looking at the emails <laughs> with all the sale information, I can do it. Okay. If I can avoid buying yarn, you can avoid buying yarn. Our goal is to reduce this as much as we can. I have some plans for, well, I have plans for some of this yarn over here. I've got, um, the lion brand mandala over here. It. I think I need one more for a project. I think this color is still available. I don't know. I might pick one that goes with it. And then I have a bunch of sock yarn that will make pretty, pretty socks. And the leftovers I can either use in the sea glass sweater um, or use it to make stripy socks stripey, scrappy socks. And then there's also the beekeeper's quilt 
because that just looks scrumptious and cozy and we all need more cozy blankets, right? I did actually start that last year, a year ago. I made a few, few of the hexagons. I have them somewhere. I think they're over there in the corner. <laughs> um, but I'm not quite sure I'm doing the Judy's magic cast on correctly. I think I am, but I'm like 97% sure. I don't know. I'll, I haven't done it since then. So I'm going to need to refresh myself for Judy's magic cast on if I do want to make the bead griefers quilt with leftover sock yarn and other fingering weights. I've got yarn right here. That's the color of the double mint gum. I don't know what to do with that. We'll come up with something. Over here, I've got Smurf Blue faux fur yarn. Might as well just show you. I still don't have an idea for this. There was a suggestion of Cookie Monster. My kids don't care about Sesame Street. So I don't know. I really don't know what to do with this one. Um, that's going to be the fun of this year is using what I have and coming up with something. So yeah, one thing I know I'm absolutely going to make is the Rowan midwinter blanket that I was late to the game on that knit along. It started in like August. I didn't know about it until October and it was done in November. I think done in November or done in October, something. Um, the knitting group that I'm in on Facebook, people were posting their finished squares along with their progress on their blankets. And it was, it captured me, it captured me. So I want to do that one, but maybe make that one a knitting challenge because why not? Why not challenge myself? Yeah. So I have 41 things listed that I wish to make. 24 are things with sleeves. We can do this. Maybe. We'll see how many I do this year. We'll keep a running tally of how many things with sleeves. I make sweaters, cardigans. I don't think I have any vests on, on that list. No, there's no vests. It's just sweaters and cardigans. <laughs> but they're pretty and I can do it. So it's time to clean this up and to go work on some commissions so I can get started on my Valentine's Day sweater. So let's go play with yarn. <laughs> 